Well, unfortunately, Rob, as you mentioned, those dry lightning storms aren't good news, aren't good signs for firefighters, but also for the people who live uh, in this area who've gone through this already. It's deja vu for them. I'm in North Vacaville right now. This is Gibson Canyon Road, one of the many roads that is closed in this area. Uh, access is restricted to people uh, who live uh, up that hill. Remember, just last week, the flames came really close to homes, and this morning, Cal Fire says, there could be more of devastation on the way, so people need to be prepared to grab their things and simply go. Firefighters were optimistic over the weekend. Officials lifted all evacuations in Solano and Yolo counties, but by early yesterday, those flames kept getting closer to homes. Right now, some rural areas of Sonoma, Napa, and Lake counties are still evacuated. Cal Fire says more than 30,000 homes are threatened. This morning, they want to warn everyone to make a plan because the storms can spark a wildfire in unexpected areas. It could become very dynamic. We could get new starts on top of the starts we already have. If these do occur, we have to pull off the fire line and retreat to safety. Cal Fire says you should pack important documents and medicines, sign up for alerts, and plan a few exit routes. Remember, if you hear the high-low sirens you're hearing right now, they're coming from police cars, so it's time to go. Those safety tips, of course, are on abc10.com slash links. Kirsten, another concern from Cal Fire this morning is those uh, unpredictable winds in this area. Right now, they're relatively calm, but they could change later this afternoon, as we've been hearing Rob mention. Of course, we'll stay here live all morning to keep you updated on what exactly happens. I'll send it back over to you. Yeah, we're standing for you and keeping you updated with information. Thank you for that, Carlos. 649 right now, the LNU complex wildfires are burning in Yolo, Solano, Napa, Sonoma, and Lake Counties. The fires were started by lightning one week ago, and since then, they're all in the same area, and Kyle Fire is considering it one big fire. Together, they've burned almost 350,000 acres, and that makes it the second largest fire in state history. Right now, it's 21% contained. At least four people have died. More than 800 buildings have been destroyed, with 30,000 still being threatened. Now, the president has approved federal aid for areas affected by wildfires in California. This means recovery efforts are getting a boost in Lake, Napa, San Mateo, Santa Cruz, Solano, Sonoma, and Yolo counties. The money includes grants for temporary housing, home repairs, low-cost loans to cover uninsured losses, and other programs to help people recover from the fires. President Trump has been critical of California's handling of the wildfires, though he's even threatened to withhold federal dollars if the state did not do a better job of maintaining forest floors. If you want the latest information on the California wildfires sent straight to your phone, we can do that for you. Just text the word FIRE to 916-321-3310 and we'll send you updates to keep you and your family safe.